Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today I thought it'd be fun to hop on Left 4 Dead 2 and check out all its Saintro mods from the Steam Workshop. I did briefly discuss some of these a few years back, but the number of Saintro mods has drastically increased since then. With that said, why don't we get started? Up first is a mod that isn't necessarily Saintro related, but it might as well be. The Purple Med Kit by Drunken Irishman changes the first aid pack's normal red color to a dark purple. It goes hand in hand with the other Saintro mods and simply looks cool. Moving on to another healing item is the Saints Pain Pills. Created by Mark2580, this mod replaces the pain pills with the Saints Flow Can. The details on the can are very well done, and it's funny to imagine that an energy drink is all you need to heal from barrages of zombies. Personally, I think it would have been more comical to have the Adrenaline replace the Flow Can, but nonetheless, it's still a great mod. Saints Flow Be Like No Other replaces a great deal of textures throughout each campaign. The first thing you'll likely notice is the progress bar. Instead of the regular yellow, the bar is indicated in purple. Every water and snack vending machine has been given this Saints Flow cover. Bus stops and banners in Dead Center have images of Viola advertising weapons. Last, but definitely not least, Jimmy Gibbs Dodge Challenger has become decked out in all Saints Purple with a Fleur de Lis on top. This makes the escape cutscene twice as badass. The Challenger even has a damage variant for the passing in Dark Carnival campaigns. On to weapons, let's start with Before fully transitioning away from weapons, there's a retexture for the flashlight that gives it the Decker logo. It can look pretty cool, but it makes traversing dark areas fairly challenging. I'd only recommend subscribing to it for casual gameplay. On to character models, Mystic has created a Gata to Hell theme skin for the Hunter. It shares Gat's iconic jacket and Lucifer tattoos on the right arm. The attention to detail is absolutely well done and adds a new level of horror to the special infected. Sadly, there's no change in appearance when playing as the Hunter in first person, but it's still a fantastic mod. That's it for Special Infected, but thankfully the survivors have a decent selection of Saint Row models. Ada Wong has graced us again with a Professor Genki model for Ellis. I'm guessing due to certain limitations, Genki's waist had to be shrunk down, but in turn, the tail has its own physics. In first person, the arms and hands have been fully modeled. You could say that this mod is quite ethical. For the next survivor, Steam user Nut on her lip, what? Nut on her lip? Okay has made a Murderbot skin for Coach. It models the Saint Row 4 enemy pretty well and is also rendered in first person. Since the Murderbot doesn't hunch over like in the game, the model tends to look more like a T-800, but that's a plus in my book. John Kana. Now onto one of my favorite Survivor skins is Zoe's Third Street Saints coat by Tog Kichua. This mod gives Zoe a purple and white leather jacket, fingerless gloves, and retextured jeans. The entire outfit looks fantastic. I especially like the Saints logo on the back. Whether you're playing in third or first person, you'll be slaying zombies in style. Tog Kichua has another third street outfit for Nick. Like the Zoe skin, this mod gives Nick a retextured purple jacket and fingerless gloves. If you look closely at his shirt, you'll see a small pattern of Fleur de Lis. Overall, it's a fitting outfit and it's a lot of fun to use in game. Another Nick mod by the Magnificent Bastard changes his suit to a dark gray and his shirt to a purple. There isn't much more to the outfit, but it definitely gives off a Saint Tro vibe. In fact, it sort of reminds me of Gat's courtroom suit. All we need now is a gavel to stick up some zombie asses. Reloading. Reloading. Next is another mod unrelated to Saint Tro, but just look at it. Tell me that isn't the same hot dog suit from any of the Saint Tro games. Though the suit isn't modeled in first person, it's quite hilarious to see in third. In combination with other mods, you'll feel like you're playing Saint Tro the Third's Horde mode. Mama Vivi has a mod for Rochelle that changes her pink shirt to a light blue with the Genki logo. It may not be the biggest difference, but at least you can have the whole squad representing on the battlefield. If none of the aforementioned character models got your interest, there's always the Toilet Survivor mod by Green. Inspired by Saint Tro the Third's Decker Dot Die mission, this mod changes each survivor into a toilet. It looks as weird as it sounds, but it's pretty funny. I would only recommend staying away from the jockey because it'll look like he has some special business with you. Let's quickly move into audio mods. Most replace the tank music with either the Warden, Paul, or Genki themes. The others swap out the safe room and credit music with Saints Row 3 and 4's main menu tracks. 
The only weapon sound mod swaps out the minigun with the one from Saints Row the Third. And onto our final mod, we have the survival map technically legal. Based off the strip club from Saints Row 3 and 4, Mark 2580 has done an incredible job recreating everything and only took minor liberties. Clicking on the DJ booth will start the timer and unleash the infinite waves of undead. You can also choose between six songs used within Saints Row 3rd stores and completion screens. Though I've played this map quite a bit, I have yet to find the perfect camping spot. Upstairs usually leads to the tank cornering everyone, and the dance floor is filled with obstacles that will slow you down. Needless to say, this is a hard survival map. But get three other friends and you're sure to have a fun experience. Well everyone, there you have most of the Saintro mods for Left 4 Dead 2. If there's any mods here you'd like to try out for yourself, please check out the description below. Anyways, special thanks to my Patreon supporters John and Emperor Palpatine. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. They're like, you know that big dude? He's like, he's like the boon. Yeah, the fat oh. guy, Gabe Newell, that's his yeah, name. Yeah, I'm like, get Gabe Newell on the phone. <laughs> he's no boon. Oh, he's no boon. He's no boon. <laughs> <laughs>